Hi, I'm Daniel Aaron Dilger for Roughly Drafted Magazine on Video. This is the 10 Myths of iPad number 6, looking at the iPad's VGA output for video and asking whether it really needs to have HDMI or other high-definition, digital, modern video output options. Apple debuted the new iPad with a new type of connector that allows it to output VGA-style video. Apple's other mobile devices, including the iPhone and the iPod Touch, supply either component or composite video output, both of which supply a standard definition type video output. The new VGA connector for the, iP the iPad works only with the iPad and delivers a 1024 by 768 also known as XGA resolution output. This is somewhat comparable to high definition television output except that the VGA type standard is designed for PC uses which means that it uses a 4 the 3 aspect ratio instead of 16 by 9 which is common in HDTV resolutions because it's supporting uh, widescreen movies. So why does the iPad only support VGA and not also DVI or HDMI or DisplayPort? Well for starters VGA is cheap and easy to implement. That's why netbooks and other low-end uh, PC laptops commonly support VGA as their only video output as well. The reason Apple uses DVI and now uses DisplayPort on its Macs is because it needs they need to support resolutions much higher than the iPad's native resolution of 1024 by 768. That resolution is well within the spec of VGA output. Unlike MacBooks, the iPad isn't really designed to support a full-time external display. It's just it's just designed to support a projector, and most projectors support the iPad's 1024 by 768 XGA type resolution. A lot of projectors don't yet support 720p HDTV resolutions. Why is there no support for HD resolutions? Well, consider that the iPad is a mobile device and it is a screen. It's not really designed to drive something else. Asking why the iPad doesn't have HD video outputs is kind of like asking why a Walkman or iPod or a general boombox doesn't have surround sound digital audio outputs. Adding DVI or HDMI or DisplayPort to the iPad would cause it to be more expensive and more complex and require you to have a bunch of cables to hook it up to your TV. That's what Apple designed Apple TV to do, and that's why it uses HDMI output to, to drive an HDTV device. A better home theater use for the iPad would be as a sophisticated control surface. Uh, that's already something Apple supports on iPhone using the remote app. That allows you to uh, control Apple TV using a multi-touch display right from your phone. A more sophisticated version of the same kind of app will, could allow you to uh, connect to iTunes LP or iTunes Extras content from iTunes and pilot uh, through the special features directly from your iPad while you're watching it on your HDTV. Those kind of features make more sense than using a tablet device to plug into your HDTV just to deliver content. That's something that Microsoft built into the Zune HD as a primary feature, but how many people are actually going to use it to do that? It really seems like a fringe feature that is included in the project by people who don't really understand what people want to be able to do. At least one other critic complained that the iPad uses an old computer resolution of 1024 by 768 instead of the more modern HDTV type resolution of 1280 by 720p. VGA resolutions have been around longer than HDTV and are more widespread. That's why most projectors that you'd find in a business setting uh, would support XGA type 1024 by 768 resolutions and not, not necessarily 720p yet. So it's not really a matter of Apple not knowing what technology to include in the iPad, but rather the opposite, that engineers are picking the right technology that makes sense for what users want to be able to do without including a lot of features that don't really make sense and just make the project more complicated and more expensive for users to buy. Check out my other videos on YouTube, check out my website at RoughlyDrafted.com, and if you're on Facebook, join the Roughly Drafted Facebook page, and you can comment on articles uh, and also new articles that I've, I've posted uh, discussions about. And you can join the discussion. There's a lot of smart people there uh, commenting on things and referencing other articles and other sites that you can check out too.